I want to know what happens next in Takao and Tokiwa's chapter. I really do want to know what happens next in Takao's chapter. I want to know what happens next in Tokiwa's chapter. Okay, well, you got... Okay, Elk's the tiebreaker. Elk, what do you say? I want to know about my hundreds of kids. Okay, Takao it is. My do I have any grandchildren yet? <laughs> you may want to hold Dad. on to that, Pops. It's... Don't worry, Dad. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Chapter 13. The Stories of the Past. <laughs> it's Takao's father. Takao's father was right in front of my eyes. And could he also be my father? In that place, it was Takao's father, Matsukazu-san, Takao and I. Everyone stared at each other with faces fraught with tension. You're the daughter of Tenshi-san, the island's shipping agent? Oh no, he knows my mom. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> oh no. My hair stood on end. How did he know that? How does he know? You know! Oh, I know. Your mother was a very beautiful person. Cool, because she doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Her entire body was beautiful, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Mazukazu-san looked at me with a nostalgic look in his eyes. I thought that I had to say something, but the words wouldn't come out. So, we're wondering, if she and I are siblings... Siblings? Oh, I see. Is that what this is about? What? Do you know something? Takao and I tilted our heads to Masukazu-san, who seemed to imply he knew something we didn't. Masukazu-san looked back and forth at Takao and me. Then he slowly opened his mouth. <laughs> Are you two in love? What about it? If that's what this is, then you can relax. <laughs> because you two aren't related by blood at all. Thank you are not me. the father! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, yeah, Jerry! Jerry! Jerry. <laughs> huh? Huh. <sighs> Since you two came all the way out here for that, it seems like it would be better to give you the whole story. Please. This person wasn't my father, and Takao wasn't my blood relative. masukazu san then invited us into his home. He told the stories of the past. Tenshi-san was quite a pretty lady. Are you sure? I don't... Dad, are you sure you're not getting senile in your <laughs> old age? I was surprised when she came to my shop for the first time. This is really funny because your mother every time is always like, Don't go to Yoshiwa! <laughs> my mother... Even now, she must still be pretty, right? No. Nope. Not at all, Dad. I mean, yes, yes. I, I don't Dad. think she has a bad reputation. That's a smart way to answer that. <laughs> I see. I'd like to see her again. He had such gentle eyes. It looked like he was wearing Takao's gentle gaze. But the wrinkles that were carved at the corners of his eyes lacked his strength. I felt something very warm. Did you fall in love? I did fall in love. <gasps> I was head over heels crazy in love. That's what I thought. Because you have the pitiful face of someone who has been drowned by love. Somebody can see himself in his death. <laughs> whoa, 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 what are you talking about? <laughs> I wonder if there is such a thing as love without misery. Doesn't seem like there is. Hmm. Well, what happened with that miserable love? In those days, I was the number one courtesan at the shop. Wow, they're not related you too? or anything. Awesome. <laughs> but she didn't pay attention to someone like me and became friendly with other gentlemen. I just couldn't stand it. It got me hopping mad. All my sweet talk and charms just wouldn't work, because that girl had a strong personality. 
One day, one of the attendants who took a liking to me spread a false rumor. Without a doubt, I was the father of Takao. But he spread rumors that the gentleman who fell for your mother had Takao with another woman. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you might want to repeat that. Are you sure you're not going senile? Wait, somebody explain this to me. I'm confused. We got a chat log on this? Yeah. I had to cow. He is my spitting image. But right. some other guy who I had you rumor. was rumored to have had to cow. Oh, so somebody else That's was rumored to be... That's probably why your mom thought... Uh... My head hurts, okay. Dad. So, oh. <laughs> so someone, another gentleman, let's say Tokiwa Senior. Iroha. Yeah, or Iroha was rumored to have been the dad of Tokiwa. Or, or I'm sorry, Takao. Takao. You know it. Okay, I understand. All right. I was really confused. So, that means... Huh. How crafty. So, that lie went even further to my mother and the gentleman that became husband and wife. You understand quite well. That's it exactly. We needed a little nope. powwow to understand, but... Not really, Dad, but thanks for the effort. And if that happened, he thought she'd come back to me. It was a short-sighted idea, but I couldn't come to scold that attendant. Oh, that makes more sense. Oh. Probably because I still hoped that there might be a chance for me to have her. But she never showed up in the red light district ever again. That bitch! Oh, I'm sorry, Kata. That was your mother. <laughs> that bitch! After that, I heard a rumor that she had a child. I guess that'd be you. I'm done. You really do look like your mother. He's probably looking at the parts of my mother that remain with me. Mazukazu-san sad eyes stared at me. Yeah, she got the looks. Just lacking all that personality stuff you were talking about with their mother. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I... You just didn't know when to give up, did you, Dad? He just continued. Just say your life. Just, just, just say he did. He did. He did. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> what do you want, Jack Kata? I, I want you to not be such an boorish kind of like... It's like you open your mouth and just... I don't even know what comes out. <laughs> I don't know what happens either. I don't use my brain at all, so... <laughs> you tried what? to convince me that you did in an earlier chapter. I forgive you, Takao. Thanks, Tokiwa! Wait, how did you get off the island? He's Wait calling from you across the island. <laughs> I forgive me! I knew the boat captain looked familiar. <laughs> That's how men are. You'll also understand that someday. <sighs> well, should we go, Kana? Huh? Are we going back already? We finished what we came here for. Takao then attempted to leave. But is this really okay? They're really parent and child? Wouldn't it be alright to be a little more emotional? I want to talk a little more. I want to stay. Is it really okay? Oh, that's fine. Just stick me back in the old folks' home. <laughs> hey, I, I keep get sending it. you money, Pops. I, is, is it I really it okay, I think? I think so, too. Takao, is that really okay? Of course it is. But we went through all this trouble, and here you are, father and son, meeting each other. When I said that, both Takao and Masukazu-san looked down as if they didn't know what to do. I like how they look in opposite directions. <laughs> like, uh... I think perhaps Takao is saying that he doesn't want to be here with me. By the way, how much longer until you can retire? <sighs> with, a, with a trench face, Takao bit his lip tightly. I wonder whose fault it is that the date of his retirement had been extended. Perhaps that's what he was thinking. I also felt frustrated and irritable. I thought I would say something, and just as I opened my mouth... Huh. Thanks to you, it won't be for some time. Takao said that with a strong look in his eyes. I see. What about someone buying your freedom? This has nothing to do with you, right? 
I don't think that's the case. But you didn't run away, did you? I'm not running or hiding or anything. More than that, if your body's not well, you should hurry up. Get better get to work. I'd appreciate that the most. Then, Mazukazu said fell silent. But come to think of it, I had heard that he was sick. But looking at him, he looked healthy. He seemed dressed quite neatly and didn't look like he was having much trouble with anything, but... Let's go, Kana. Uh, yes. There was nothing more that I could say. Takao! As Takao began to leave, Mazukazu-san called out to him. Takao slowly turned back, twisting only his neck to do so. That young lady there. You love her, don't you? You love here, don't you? You love her, don't you? <sighs> Takao quickly looked down at the floor. Then he immediately brought his face up and made his usual smile. She's the first woman that I've ever loved. He said that with a clear voice. I was so hot that it felt like my chest was burning. Takao. Mazuka Mazukazu-san kindly smiled as if he were relieved. That is a mouthful. Can I just Mazukazu-san? It was very kind. His smile made it seem like he was really... He really thought preciously of Takao. You're going back to the island, are you? Yeah. From now on, I'll help you. Huh? Mazukazu-san was making an extremely kind face, but Takao may not have been able to understand that meaning. He put on a stern face and glanced at Mazukazu-san. Then he turned his back to him. Get back safely. <sighs> Without giving any response, Takao gently pressed my back and began walking. Goodbye. I bowed to Mazukazu-san, almost as if to apologize. Urged by Takao, I also turned my back to him. Takao didn't turn back, not even once. But, but I could feel his gaze clinging to us the whole time. Mazukazu-san cherished Takao. I have no evidence to prove that, but I certainly felt that way. After that, we were able to successfully store away on the ship returning to the island. On that ship, Takao told me about his father and mother. He told me that his mother also didn't work, and she was always asking him for money. About his father, Mazukazu-san, who we met today, he heard a rumor that he was suffering from an illness. And that's why he was sending him money himself. Takao told me all this in a quiet and relaxed tone of voice. He lived in a world that was beyond my understanding. And that's why he became so strong. That's why he learned the skills to survive. But even with all that, his eyes were unclouded. He always stared at me with straight, clear, and strong eyes. He had a terrifyingly fierce life force. He encompassed my everything. Both of us left the island without permission. Regardless of how we returned, we would be punished. While thinking that, we swayed with the movement of the boat as we snuggled. Kana, where did you go? When I heard that you had run off with someone, I... I thought that she wouldn't find me, but she found me as soon as we got off the boat. She rushed towards me, clung on to me, and started to sob. <laughs> Mother, I I'm sorry. I didn't think that I would cause her this much worry. My heart ached. Oh, but you did come back. You came back to your mother. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not why she came back at all. Mother... Next to me, Takao bowed deeply, and with his head still down, he didn't move for a while. My mother continued to cling to me and sob. Takao. After a while, Takao lifted his head and then started to leave. Takao! And just then, I called out to him. The face that I saw as he looked back looked contorted with sadness. Naturally, tears spilled from my eyes. I just have to apologize to Aroha San a bit. My mother also lifted her head and looked at Takao. I wanted to ask if she was okay, but as I tried to ask, I just couldn't do it. I... 
Can't say anything. I'll go to Mother Help Me. I'll go too. Yeah. I immediately. Yeah. yeah. We'll go together. Mm-hmm. Takao, I'll go too. When I said that, Takao slowly shook his head. I don't want to show something disgraceful to my precious woman. And just then, I think this is Elk. I'll accompany you to Kikuya. Huh? Huh? All at once, everyone turned back to where the voice came from. And right there, it was Mazukazu-san. I called it! Yep. Who had just Damn. left on the main island. You are? Tenshi-san, it's been too long. Mazukazu-san bowed politely. His gesture was done very smoothly and was very refined. I could imagine him being renowned as a court of man. I'm Takao's father, Masakazu. Huh? After that, Masukazu-san talked about what had happened. My mother seemed to have taken quite a shock, but perhaps thanks to Masukazu-san's gentlemanly attitude, she quickly calmed down. In the end, she laughed. It's all in the past! And she said that she was really happy for Takao and I. Then Takao, Masukazu-san, and I, the three of us decided to head towards Kikuya. Ooh. Hey, Ross! <laughs> Look at me, I'm a ghost! <laughs> ah, Takao, we've certainly enjoyed having you here for the past couple of days. <laughs> yes, yes, I've Shh. been here the past. Um, uh, how long were we gone, Kata? Like a day. For the past Don't day. worry! Don't worry, buddy, I threw on a brown wig and I totally handled it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God, that would be the worst Wait. plan ever. Have you been sleeping with all of my... <laughs> and then some! 